It took you, what, 11 starts to get your first win of this year. Yeah. Which was not deserved by any means. You, you like, fought through it. There, that should have happened a lot earlier is my point. But when you're going through that stretch, and you probably have never been through a stretch like that in your life, <laughs> is that starting to weigh on you, or could you see past it? Yeah, it's definitely, it was weighing on me a bit. Um, you know, I just feel like, especially this year, I have a, a job to do and, and a position where I want to lead and, and help the guys around me and, and lead by example. And uh, when you're not winning ball games, it's 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 frustrating. Yeah. And, uh, you know, knowing that I wasn't, for me, I feel like I wasn't doing my job uh, and contributing um, enough to the team. So it's, it's tough to... Um, it's, it's tough sometimes and it's frustrating, but I think, you know, realizing it is a long season and um, maybe not getting the outcome we wanted, um, you know, as long as I continue to put the work in and, and stick to the routines and, um, you know, continue to try and improve and evolve, uh, a, lot of, a lot of that stuff ends up taking care of itself. And, um, you know, like you said, it took longer, but we yeah. finally got a win. So um, I think we're on the right page now. What is the most important stat to a pitcher? Is it even the win-loss record? I think it's ERA. Yeah. For me, it's ERA. Um, you know, the wins and losses, personally, I was just trying to explain this to a couple of position players as, as a pitcher. <laughs> when you get a win, this is just the way I feel, but when you get a win, um, it's great. You know, you feel like you do your job, but you don't really look too much into it. Right. Um, when you get a loss, you feel like you didn't do a good enough job, uh, or I feel like I didn't do a good enough job to put my team in a position to win. Right. And I feel like I hold myself more accountable. And um, yeah, the wins losses are, you know, in a major league season, a lot of things have to go your way for you to get the win. So uh, they're, they're hard to get, uh, but you do need to appreciate them when you get them. But yeah, for me, I think it's, I think it's ERA, ERA and, you know, try to keep guys off, off base. You've been an Oakland Athletic for quite some time. So long, in fact, that I think most people forget you're drafted by the Yankees. Right. You're drafted very high by the Yankees. First round, 16th overall in, in 2015. Real quick, on that note, you never really got to be a Yankee. Right. But what was that like? Your entrance to professional baseball was being drafted by the Yankees. It's pretty cool. Um, they do a tremendous job there, and, and they have a blueprint that they follow. And, um, you know, I think it shows you know, why that organization's had some success. And, uh, but even though I, you know, I never did get with the big club and, and, and play in New York with them, they yeah. did a tremendous job of, of making me understand what it meant to be a part of that organization, um, making me comfortable and getting to know the staff and, and the people and, and, you know, helping me improve in that time that I was there, whether it was spring training or, or, or just, you know, Following CC Sabathia or Nathan Uvaldi or whoever it was around, um, you know, those they just did a really good job of, of uh, you know, explaining what it meant to, to be there and what the what what they wanted from you. Yeah. And uh, once they you know set up those goals, it's they made it very clear what they want, and it's your job to go try and achieve them. See, though, you couldn't have had that beard in New York, right? I so couldn't. No, this thing is. I don't know what this is, but we're <laughs> going for it right now. Me too. I get you. Um, Twenty seventeen. Tommy John surgery, yeah. uh, which is weird in a sense that it's so procedural almost mm -hmm. across professional pitchers. Thankfully, the numbers I think have gone down in recent years, but at the time when you went through it, so many pitchers getting that specific surgery. So yeah, commonplace, but I bet when you're the one that's about to go under the knife, there's a lot up in the air. There's a lot to think about in terms of what does the rest of my playing career look like? Yeah, it's Tom, you know, anytime you're going to get surgery, um, you know, it's it's not a fun it's not a fun thing. Um, that was my first surgery I've ever had. I've, I've pretty much been healthy yeah. um, up until that point. So, you know, going through rehab the, the year before, um, knowing I didn't need Tommy John, and then making the decision the next year to get Tommy John. Um, if anything, it's just frustrating because you know, for me, yeah, I'm sure people see it when when I'm in the game or coming out of the game. But I'm I consider myself a you know a highly uh, competitive person <laughs> and um, you know that's where I belong I, I belong between the lines you know and when you're sidelined for three years two and a half years whatever it is for that individual right. for me it was three years basically right. um, 
you're on the training table and it's all foreign and um, you have to find small victories along the way and, and things to keep you motivated. But there were definitely some tough times where I didn't even want to watch baseball because I was so frustrated that I couldn't be out there depressed or, or whatever it may be. So I think you realize uh, the small things that you miss in the game, whether it's the bus rides or the plane rides or um, just being, being in the clubhouse with the guys and the camaraderie, you know, um, all that stuff really travels a long way and, and the impact that you know guys are able to have on you and you're able to have on on teammates and staff so um, and then ultimately you know being able to compete is the best thing for me it's, I, I live for it.